Hello again, boys and girls. We're going to do some science today. Uh, before I know with the religion story about Jesus, um, you saw me getting a little sad. It is a sad story, but it does have a happy ending. And there will be more to the story, because you're all probably wondering, well, what happened to him when he got off the cross? Did they find him again and do it again? But we're going to get to that. Okay, today, for science, we're going to talk about frogs. Right, so... Today you're going to get your little newspaper, A Frog Grows Up, and you're going to do this after I do it. Okay, this frog is all grown up now. It has a long pink tongue, like the one on my shirt, right? But did the froggy look the same when it was a baby? Did it? Let's find out. That's why it's called Let's Find Out, right? Okay, does anybody know? What a frog starts off as? It actually starts off as an egg. And these eggs are usually laid in water. And they all come together in a big sack. Hundreds of eggs. It kind of looks like they're jello. It looks like little eyeballs, right? A bunch of little eyeballs. So if you live by a pond or a stream, now is the time to go and look. You might see some egg sacs in the pond or the stream. And then they break off the egg sack. And then they are what's called a tadpole or a polywog. And they don't stay like that because right now that frog he has to live underwater. He's not a frog yet. So to live underwater, it has to be able to breathe like a fish. Does anybody know how a fish breathes? Right, they have gills. They're called gills. So the tadpole hatches from the eggs and it doesn't look like a frog yet. It looks more like a fish. And while he's in the water, it eats and it grows bigger, and then it starts to grow legs in the back, then legs in the front, and then it starts to grow lungs, because it won't live in the water forever, right? That's why in our frog tank we have some water and we have land, because they swim in the water, but they live mostly on the land. Okay, the tadpoles grows legs, it's starting to look like a frog, and it's going to grow lungs so it can breathe air. And then, when it grows its front legs, that tail looks like a fin, that disappears. And he has a full frog body. So frogs are so cool, aren't they? And on the back of your newspaper, there's a little activity with a calendar. And mom or dad can help you read the questions. And then you have to look on the calendar to find the answer that matches. Okay, I'm going to show you a cool frog book right now. Many frogs go through metamorphosis. That's a big word, metamorphosis. Metamorphosis means a change, right? So, many frogs go through metamorphosis, the change from a tadpole that lives in water to the adult frog that lives on land. Animals that can live in water and on land are called, does anybody know what they're called? Amphibians, like a newt is an amphibian, a frog, a toad. The word comes from the word amphibious, which means a double life. A double life, it starts off living in the water, under the water, and then comes out and lives on land where it can find food. Okay? There's some pictures. And see here, it's still living underwater. The lungs begin to develop and the back legs develop. Okay, and then the tadpole loses its gills and it grows lungs and it becomes what's called a froglet. Okay, and then the froglet soon loses that tail completely and now it looks like an adult frog with back legs and front legs. The Swede loves frogs. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in Vermont where my grandparents lived going out every day and catching frogs. Okay. Although metamorphosis enables the adult frog to breathe air and live on land, most frogs still need water for moisture for their skin. The frogs live, uh, the frogs live around bodies or pools of water, so by, like a pond or a stream, where they lay their eggs and continue the life cycle. These are different frogs. That's called a bullfrog. This is a horned frog. This is a red-eyed tree frog. I used to have one of those years ago in my class. It's pretty cool. It's got suction cups and claw. Okay, frog or toad. People often confuse the two amphibians. 
Although frogs and toads seem alike, they differ in a few ways. Most herpetologists, big word there, herpetologists, the scientists who study reptiles and amphibians, use the name frogs to mean both frogs and toads. So usually, see these are, this is a frog, but this one's a toad. You can see they're a little different. This one is smoother, a little more slimy, and a toad isn't as wet and slimy, and it is very bumpy. I used to catch those a lot, too. Okay, frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica. There are over 3,500 kinds of frogs. They vary greatly. That means they're different. Color, size, even their foot shape. In fact, the shape of a frog's hand or foot is a good way to tell how a frog moves and where it lives. So look at this guy. He lives in the rainforest and he can climb. Okay. Swimming frogs use their webbed hind feet to spread through the water. So there are water frogs. I used to have one of those too, an African water frog. And they live only in water. But they pop their head up and they still breathe air. Okay. And then there are digging and burrowing frogs, frogs that live in moist soil. But whatever a frog's color, size, or shape, most frogs have common traits or attributes about them. Okay. Their skin is moist. Okay. They don't like to be in the sun. They like shady areas. They have excellent hearing and they like to eat bugs. See the different frogs? Cool, right? Another similarity is that it usually, it's, it is usually the male frog that advertises its presence. So when you hear sounds from frogs, it's usually the boy frogs making the noise. Some of them have to bubble out their neck to make their sound. And the ones we have at school, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but they have a very low barking sound. I hear it because I know what the sound is. The next time we're there, I'll point it out to you. But they only usually do it when it's quiet. That's probably why we don't hear it. Okay. And they have good ways to protect themselves. Can you see him? Right? He's in there, he's got all that, what is that called? He blends in. Right, camouflage, here's another one, he's very hard to see. He's among some, it looks like rocks. It looks like a rock. Okay. I'm just looking, oh, this one, he's protecting himself by looking like he's gonna harm. Okay, this frog, it's hard to tell. If that's the front or the back, right? Because we see here, we look like legs and eyes. So that looks like the front, but it's really the back. And then these are, some of them have poisonous skin. So if another creature licks it or tries to eat it, they'll get poisoned. Frogs play an important role in the web of life. They snap up huge numbers of insects, right? All those mosquitoes in the summertime, the frogs like to eat them. Some of them can leap and catch them. He's going for a cricket. That's what Miss Sweeney feeds our frogs, crickets and mealworms. And sometimes, unfortunately, a frog is another animal's dinner. I remember once when I was a kid catching frogs at the pond, there was a snake eating a frog and I was taking a stick and I was poking the snake, hoping to free the frog, but I didn't. So for a long time, I didn't like snakes. But then I grew up and I understood that it's part of the circle of life. Okay, by eating a large number of insects that might otherwise be serious pests, frogs help us. But frogs also help humans in other ways. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's a mosquito. Frog will eat him. These guys have nets. They're out catching. I use my hand. I didn't use a net. I still catch frogs. But today, some frog species are disappearing. Some may even be extinct. For some reason, it is when cities and farmlands expand. 
people destroy frog habitats by cutting down trees and draining wetlands. Also, chemicals sometimes get into their waters and poison them. Whatever the reason, the fact remains, some species are disappearing. So that's sad. That's why we want to take care of the earth to keep all the animals alive, right, that God gave us? This is the frog we usually see in our area, the northern leopard frog. Frogs have been around since the dinosaurs, but now frogs need our help. We can help make sure they continue to survive by helping clean our land and our waters that are near our houses. But frogs are pretty cool. So, do you remember that big word? That means they change from egg, tadpole to frog? That's called metamorphosis. Big word. Okay. So, I have two things for you to do. You're going to do your newspaper and I'll your parents have the password, you can watch the video clip, you highlight the words like we do in class. But here is a frog life cycle poster. Cut the bottom off. And since it's a cycle, as long as you put the first one maybe here, that would be good idea. And follow the arrows. Yeah, that's where you want to put the first one, because there's a one. First one is what? Right, the egg, then the tadpole, and then you'll see the tadpole starting to grow legs, and then you'll see a froglet. It's not quite a frog yet. And then the biggest one, when it's totally out of the water and has lungs and all four legs, goes here. So you can do this one or, I mean, you could do them both. They're both fun. But this one is pretty cool. I'm going to send it to you already colored. Okay, and then I'm going to send you a sheet that has the little pictures of all the stages of the frog. So the first one is egg. Then the next one is the tadpole, and then the tadpole that grows back legs, then the tadpole that grows front legs, and you can see its tail shrinking, then the tadpole that has all four legs growing its lungs, the tails disappearing, and then the adult frog. And your mom or dad can help you make it an accordion like this. You can do both if you'd like, or you can just do one. And I'll also send you some cool video clips about a frog's metamorphosis. I told you it was going to be a frog-tastic day. Okay, boys and girls, I love you, miss you terribly, and I'm going to read you a special story tomorrow.